unprecedented 7,000-year-old submerged archaeological site found off the coast of Florida. This will forever transform the way we approach offshore archaeology. An ancient burial site belonging to Native America culture has been found under the ocean near Key, Minnesota, Minnesota Key Offshore, MKO, on the west coast of the Florida Peninsula, local Secretary of State Ken Detzner recently announced. The research carried out so far shows that during the early archaic period, when the sea level was much lower than at present, the area where the K is located was not submerged and there was a small freshwater lake there where the ancient Floridians buried their deceased. The site near the community of Venice was first discovered by an amateur diver in June 2016, who reported the find to the Archaeological Research Office, BAR, pointing towards the existence of possible human remains in the area. As it is illegal to excavate any site where there are burials, underwater archaeologists had to use other techniques and tools. Experts used sonar and magnetometrics for their research and, after a year and a half, they are finally able to claim that the area with less than an acre of extension, around of 4,000 square meters, was firm land not covered by the sea during the early archaic period. Florida Secretary of State Ken Detzner said in a statement that the archaeological site called MKO is located on the continent shelf off the west coast of the state in what was once a freshwater lake when sea levels were much lower than at present. As the sea level rose, that lake was submerged by the waters of the Gulf of Mexico and covered by material known as peat. This is brown material consisting of partly decomposed vegetable matter, forming a deposit on acidic, boggy ground. This peat remained intact in the seabed, which helped preserve the ancient remains. According to Detzner, BAR archaeologists have done an incredible work of documentation and research that can help understand the native peoples better. The Secretary of State stressed that, out of respect for the individuals buried there and their possible alive descendants, divers and other persons are prohibited from assessing the site, already protected by the laws of Florida and controlled by representatives of the forces of order that perform frequent patrols. Timothy Parsons, director of the Historical Resources Division of the State Department, said that the MKO deposit is a revelation for the world of archaeology. Ryan Duggins, supervisor of underwater archaeology at the BAR, considered inspiring the fact that found the submerged field under the Gulf of Mexico so well prepared. We now know that this type of site exists on the continental shelf, said Duggins. On behalf of the Seminole people, Paul Backhouse, head of tribal historical conservation, expressed his satisfaction at being able to elaborate a plan with other institutions that will allow the ancestors to continue resting in peace without human interference for the next 7,000 years. We are truly humbled by this experience, Duggins explained in a statement. It's important to remember that this is a burial site and must be treated with the utmost respect.